Let's talk about Python programming. Now, this is the first video in the video series that I've recorded for Python programming for network engineers. Now, if you're a network engineer and you deal with switches, routers, or any other security appliances, uh, this video is for you. This video series is for you. By the end of this video series, you should be able to communicate with your routers, switches, or ESA, or any of the firewalls, or whatever, any appliance that support um, APIs the application programming interfaces in case uh, the appliance does not support apis you can still fall back to ssh right there are modules available in python that you can utilize to communicate those appliances using those modules that support ssh you got like for example paramico netmico i'm going to start from the very scratch but i'm not going to go extremely in depth because as I said, the target audience is network engineers. Now, although this should be sufficient for anyone who's just starting with Python, you're still going to learn a ton of stuff from this video series. Now, in this introduction video, I'm going to talk about some very important things. So make sure you watch this video uh, till the end. Um, I'm going to talk about interpreters, Python 2 or Python 3, which one to go for. Uh, which are uh, what are virtual environments uh, i'm going to talk about a little bit about pip i'm going to uh, talk about some important resources as well that you can use to go ahead and uh, you know build your knowledge in python okay so let's jump right into it let me just clear out the screen all right so everything is an object in python for those of you who have worked on programming languages like c plus plus or let's say java you know what an object is right um if not not a problem uh, or if you are someone who's new to programming do not worry i'm going to cover this in great detail um in a separate video but you can just make a note of this for the uh, at the moment right so um installing python uh, from uh, this particular website which is the official website of python um but before installing or downloading or installing python let's make sure if you have already python running in your system well how do you do that let's jump to the command prompt to check it out so if you go to the command prompt what you can do is you can run python hyphen hyphen version once you run this command you should see this output and which tells you that you have python installed and uh, the version you're using is uh, 3.10.6 now uh, after this i'm going to talk a little bit about pip as well and if you don't have pip installed, you can install that. You can download that, install that. Um, you can verify uh, if pip is already there by running a similar command, pip hyphen hyphen version, just like Python hyphen hyphen version. And it was able to tell me, yeah, pip is there. It was able to fetch it from here. All right, uh, done with pip. Uh, checking and uh, Python checking as well, if both of these are uh, there or not. All right, so um, let's say uh, when you ran that command, Python uh, hyphen hyphen version, you, uh, you, you saw that, you know, uh, Python is not there. So what do you do? You go ahead and download Python uh, from this website. I'm gonna put a, a link in the description for this. And uh, when you do that, um, uh, when you're installing Python, basically, right? Once you've downloaded Python, you go ahead and install um, Python. While installing it, it's going to go ahead and in one of uh, the prompts. It's going to ask you, it's going to provide you a checkbox uh, for updating the path variable. Well, do you want to update the path variable? Uh, that's the kind of checkbox there is. Go ahead and make sure that um, you check that box. Okay. That's important. That's very important. Uh, although it's not a prerequisite, but it's extremely important. It's going to make your life easy, um, uh, especially if you're someone who's uh, new to programming. All right. A little more introduction now. It was created by Guido Van Rossum. Um, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Anyways, uh, which interpreter to use when you talk about Python? This is a question that every uh, comes to everyone's mind. Uh, you got Python 2 out there and Python 3 out there. Well, I would recommend going for Python 3 and not for Python 2. Python 2 has reached end of life in January 2020. Python th uh, 3 is something which get, uh, gets updates, bug fixes, security patches, and all of that. If you want to read more about it, possibly the same kind of information, 
you can go to this website. I'm going to put this link in the description. And as I said, I recommend Python 3, but before doing anything uh, on your company laptop or anything like that, or on a server or anything, don't just go ahead and upgrade uh, Python. Just understand if there's any application that may uh, crash uh, if you go ahead and upgrade Python or do any kind of, any kind of stuff like that. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about how to how to get. Um, I'm going to talk about the workaround anyway, so don't worry about that. But anyways, it's just uh, something I wanted to let you know that before going ahead and upgrading or doing any anything like that, just make sure you don't crash your company laptop and so on. And so it is just for educational purposes. If you break anything, not on my head. All right. How to download Python. I'm going to show it to you right after this. But before that, I'm going to talk about the prerequisites. Well, basically, there are no prerequisites. Literally, you download Python, install Python, and start using it. So no prerequisites. However, I did talk about pip before. It's the package manager uh, for Python. When we talk about pip, it's uh, used to install, uninstall um, Python software packages and or libraries. So you can uh, do that using pip. And uh, when you talk about pip, right, um, this is where it fetches um, the, the software packages by default from PyPI, which is Python package index. So if you run something uh, like pip, install so and so right so you mentioned pip uh, in the command prompt the command would be pip and then install right so you mentioned pip install and then the package name okay so after this you mentioned the package name uh, this command when you execute this command it's going to fetch it from default uh, pypi.org Okay, now let's say you do not have pip. We checked it in the command prompt before, right? We did a pip space um, hyphen hyphen version. Let's say you did not see pip there. So you can download it from here. Okay, I'm gonna put this link in the description as well. All right, now let me just quickly talk about uh, virtual environments as well, virtual env. All right, why do we need them in the first place? And what do they help with? Why, what's really going on? Okay, uh, remember in the introduction, we talked about Python 2 or Python 3, now about crashing applications and so on, right? You don't want to do that. And virtual environments, uh, what, what it's going to help us with is that, let's say you have a certain version of Python running, um, and you don't want to uh, upgrade Python because that may, uh, end up in uh, breaking a uh, certain software application running that uh, that's running on on that particular pc so uh what you do in that case is you um you create a virtual environment on top of the python version that's already running um and whatever changes you make whatever modules or packages you install after that uh, in that virtual environment are not going to tamper with the uh base python um, version modules or packages that are libraries that are that are there so uh, basically it helps you out with that compatibility issue uh, that we talked about before right so um okay i think that should be it before okay now 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 let me show you the website itself uh, but before that, you can just take a screenshot of this, and I'm going to put it put this in the description anyway, so don't worry. So, so this, these are some important uh, resources. Uh, you got www.python.org, which is the official uh, Python website, uh, this official documentation for Python, docs.python.org, and uh, the slash three here means for Python three, uh, or you can just remove this and go to the uh, main website, right? And you got uh, the, I mentioned uh, this um, uh, Python tutor uh, because uh, I wanted you guys to check um, this out before going ahead and downloading and installing Python. You can actually go online to this particular website where you can have a taste of Python and run uh, Python there. So this is the online compiler and debugger for Python. When we talk about resources, YouTube is, is, is a great resource for learning any 
any programming language and Python as well. Uh, and this this particular channel is is there. So make sure that you know you subscribe and uh, and watch the rest of the videos as well. Um, Hacker rank is something where you can practice exercises and um, you know you get challenges there which you gotta finish. Uh, so basically just learning about the syntax and uh, you know learning how to uh, create a file and so on that's not enough if you're not able to solve problems well that's what hacker rank is going to help you out with so i'd recommend going in and checking out um i think uh, this is all i wanted to present uh here uh, i'm going to show you the website now for python.org or where to download it from all right okay let's go ahead and download python even my python version is old so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to www.python.org slash downloads. This is the page I land on. And this is the button I need to click on, right? Download Python 3.12. So that's the button I'm going to click on to download the Python version 3.12. Once it's downloaded, okay, that's it. I just click on it, and then it's going to tell me that you know, uh, it's already there. Install now, customize installation, blah, blah, blah. This is the last the last part that you see right here is the one I'm interested in at the moment as well. And this is what I was talking about. Add python.exe to path. Now that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select that. I'm going to check that checkbox uh, while doing it. I'm going to say install now. And that's it. So it's going to take some time to install. It's asking me, Windows is asking me if you want this app to make the changes. Well, I'm going to pause the video for some time. Probably, yeah, it's it's going to take some time, pretty sure. So I'm just going to pause the video, and once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and resume the video. All right, it's complete now. Setup was successful. New to Python. Start with this online tutorial, blah, blah, blah. And that's it. It's done. Now, one more thing left after this is just make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. Kindly consider uh, liking, commenting, and sharing the video as well. It really helps out a lot. Um, yeah, apart from that, it looks like we're good. In case I missed out on anything, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to uh, help you out with that as well. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to ask me about Linux distributions and how to install Python in there. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. And as I said, uh, kindly consider you know subscribing and so on. So have a great day ahead. Goodbye.